Mr. Pearson. Oh, it's you. Evening. Mr. Morgan! Mr. Morgan! I know. We need food. How'd you know I was gonna say that? You're walking. You're only walking when you're not cooking, and you're only not cooking when there's not enough food. Okay, I'll catch you later then. Sure, Arthur. Come on now. I think I'm just gonna go to bed. Could really use some more meat, Mr. Morgan. Can't have that pot go completely empty. Thank you, Arthur. Not good, I won't lie. You oh, gonna freeze oh, your acorns off dress like that. <laughs> like that'd be enough. Let me see some more smiling, boys. Come on. Life is actually pretty good. A hundred years ago, we'd have been indentured men. My people. Good morning, Arthur.
What you prepare for? The greatest of gifts. An unguarded stagecoach. No, you simple-minded fool. Bison. Bison? Bison. From which you can get anything. There's some over on the plains, I believe. I saw a couple a long way off. Oh. Right? Good luck. You want to come with me? I'll show you how we hunt one. Sure. Why not? Mount up then. Let's go. Okay, girl. You know, it was before my time, of course, but my mother used to tell me stories of how her tribe moved with the bison. They lived almost as one. The bison went, my people went. They were the center of all life. We couldn't survive without them. They provided us with everything. Food, clothing, shelter, tools. There was a lot of respect. Huh. I don't remember much of my childhood, but I think my people, well, we pretty much moved with the whiskey. <laughs> well, my father did that too. Let's try over here, to the left. Over there. You see them all? Incredible, aren't they? We should only kill one of them. I'll keep them ringed in and you see if you can bring one down. Okay? Clean as you can. Okay. Yep. Take the horns, too. It can all be used. Throw that on your horse and mount up. I wanna go check something out. Okay, let's go. Where are we going? I thought I saw some scavenger birds over here. I just wanted to see what attracted them. They've been shot. I just don't know why anybody would just leave them here to rot like that. Look, another dead bison. On the hill to the right. Come on. Shot and left for dead again. But this one looks fresher. There's a camp there. 
I'm gonna take a look. cold yet. Maybe half a day since they left. Bison's been dead about the same amount of time. So what do you want to do? They could still be in the area. Let's get up higher. See if we spot anything. This way. We should have a good view from up here. See anything? I see some smoke to the east. Maybe another camp? It's worth a look. All right. Let's go. Bastards. Just killing for fun. You think we can talk? I don't kill for fun. I kill when I need to. It has to be them. Come on, wait up. Did you fools shoot those bison? What's your problem? I said. Did you fools shoot those bison? Calm down, you black or red bastard, whatever the fuck you are. Did you shoot them? Yes, we did. We shot them bison. We'll shoot you too if you don't get. What business is it of yours? What? We. Uh, it's that business of mine! Good God, you're crazy! I got a family. A family. Don't shoot me. Stand back, Charles. I'll get you some answers. What the hell are you doing? Why are you killing those bison and leaving them to rot? I don't know what you're talking about. God damn it, tell us and you're dead. Oh, okay. We were paid to kill as many as we could and make it look like it was Indians. Just kill him, Arthur. No, please don't kill me. I'm begging you. All right, I'll get out of here. Oh, just don't, don't shoot me, mister. I got a family. Then run away. Why did you do that? He didn't need to die. Maybe he'll go tell his friends now what happens to poachers. I've seen enough of this. I'm heading back. Okay. I'm going to see if there's anything worth taking from their camp. I'll catch up with you later. <clears throat>
glad you showed up when you did. I don't have no money to give you, but I do have some information that might interest a man like yourself. There's this odd lady that collects things. Has a place uh, north of Strawberry. All kinds of goodies, I hear. <laughs> might be something there for you. <laughs> Interesting. Thanks again. <laughs> Safe travels. Yeah, you too. Lay low. Aren't you cold dressed in just that? My lady. Mary Beth? Hey, Arthur. How's it riding? How are you doing? Not very good. Thank you, I hear the most wonderful right, words in my head, and then I ride absolute poppycock. <laughs> but I love it. <laughs> yeah, me too. My journal. I was reading some the other day. <laughs> I write like a fool. <laughs> One day I'd love a beautiful fountain pen and a great desk and a quiet room and to write the most beautiful stories. Well, I can't do much about the stories or the quiet room, but maybe I'll find you a pen. <laughs> Thank you. We 
because that's all we got. That's all that anybody has got. Dreams. Ideas. It is that or be a monkey. And right now I am picking us for angels. So you stay with me. You stay with us. Because things are gonna get tough. But we are gonna hey, get Hey, Arthur! What you want? Well, we want Man, you want a sour son of a bitch, ain't you? Now listen good. You happy to have Uncle Sean back? Yeah, I missed him. Well, that makes one of us. <laughs> All right, well, I should be getting on. Okay. All good, Abigail? Yeah, starting to like this place, the boy, too. Morning. Good morning, Arthur. Mr. Pearson. Morning, Mr. Morgan. Ask yourself. What is a man? And there's your answer. Walk like a man who knows that there is a heaven above or scurry and hide a tree like some godforsaken monkey. Morning, Arthur. Ladies. It's all good. Calm down. Yep.
Oh, easy. Yeah. Swanson, you hear me? Swanson, you in here? What's the hold up? Play your damn hand. Mr. Morgan, I took your advice, sir. I took your advice. Then your god has finally deserted you. What you talking about? I took your advice, sir. I have removed myself from Morpheus's embrace. No more shall I sink, sir. I am free. I am free. You don't seem free, friend. You seem drunk. Sit down, Reverend. We ain't finished. You ain't finished. Look at him. He's finished. None of us forced liquor down his throat, friend. I just want him to play. Now, firstly, we ain't friends. Don't make no mistake on that subject. Now, secondly, he can't hardly see, let alone reason. Now, reasoning ain't never been one of my strong points, neither, but see, and I do just fine. You want to step outside or do a business here? I just want him to finish the game. Why can't we all just get along? These are good men, Arthur. They're children of God. They're children of God. <laughs> oh. Uh, how's about you playing his place, huh? That seems fair. Fair? Sure. You want a game? Sure. I'll play a few hands. Well, sit yourself down, then. I'm Luther. This is Marvin. Fortunate for you both for being gentlemen about this. Same goes for you. So, how you two know each other anyway? Don't seem like the likeliest of friends, if you don't mind me saying. We go a long way back. And now you're his chaperone? I guess it's something like that. Can we play? Check. He can't be no real clergyman. <laughs> he committed about five cardinal sins just in that chair you're sitting in. I think he used to be. He's drifted a little in recent years. Uh, life is a challenge. To all of us. Can you imagine him at the pulpit? If he could stand up. On the fourth day, he turned water into whiskey, and I don't remember much after that. <laughs> <laughs> He's a decent fella going through a bad time. Disrespect him again, and you'll find yourself in a bad time, too. All right, all right. Just trying to have a little fun here. It is a game after all, mister. Huh. Forgive me, it's all I can afford. Come on. At least make it interesting. So here. Pile of crap. Don't laugh. Come on. Could have been worse. Ah. Yes, come on. Um, okay. I'll check. I check. I'm a play slow. Damn it. Call.
No. Here, just a little. Is that no, it? not for me. Huh. Mm-hmm. Yes. Wish you'd left some <laughs> Gentlemen, this is getting too rich for me. Well, sit down. Oh, I'm done, friend. It's been a real education. Come on, Rip. Where is he? Where'd he go? Who? The Reverend. Where it? <sighs> Excuse me, gentlemen. Reverend! Reverend Swanson! Where'd you go? Excuse me, I'm sorry. You, you see a drunken idiot, a priest, wandering about? What are you doing? Hey, Reverend! Off him. I didn't say a word. You'll keep. You stay out of it. Get your hands off him now, you son of a bitch. Come on. You're a dead man. You understand me? Yep. I I won't tell us so. I promise. Good. Get the hell out of here. Reverend! Get off the damn tracks! Swanson! Just a simple mistake. You can still be saved. What have you done with your foot? It appears to like this place. It wants to stay. Get your foot out of here. Twist your leg, you drunken bastard. Help! Get it! Thank you, uh, sir. Uh, uh, oh, no, you don't. What the hell is wrong with you? What the hell is wrong with you? Throwing me off a bridge like there that. There was your goddamn train, you crazy bastard. <laughs> Have I been bad again, Mr. Morgan? I'm sorry. Uh, I wish I was different. Let's get you home. Home? Yeah, that's a wonderful idea. I could have tea with Margaret. Margaret? Who's Margaret? But. Oh. 
I was wondering when he'd show up. You know me? Glad to hear. <laughs> you better sleep your way to salvation, my friend. <laughs> oh, what happened? Just the usual. Poor <laughs> bastard. Exactly. Well, thank you, Mr. Morgan. I'll keep an eye on him. He was lucky this time. Real lucky. Hey there. <laughs> <laughs> 